Uh, Martin, how are things going? We've had some growth in the last two weeks. Yeah, things are going well. Um, growth of 80 last week and we've grown 122 after the walk today, so um, into a lot, a lot of surplus. So we're starting to take out paddocks this week. We've also taken out two paddocks last week just to stagger the paddocks coming back in so we don't have a huge burst of growth going in at one time. And what's the other advantage of taking out those paddocks, Martin? Um, well, to make quality bales for the shoulders. Um, so in September, when, they, when we want to build covers, we start feeding the bales, or if there's ever a drought or anything like that, we've, uh, we've uh, quality bales available to, to, to go into whenever there's a gap to be filled. Okay, so you have a demand here of nearly 60, yeah. and you're growing 120, 120 so yeah. it's, it's, it's far exceeding. So what's your rotation length at the minute? Um, it's down to four, it's 15 days at the moment, so either a paddock, the paddocks are skipped or bailed, or there's something, either a cow or a machine in the paddock every two weeks at the moment, just to, to keep the quality on top, keep uh, on top of the quality. And that type of growth, yeah, so you yeah. need to act quicker. You're walking yeah. the farm now twice a week? We walk and, well, I do the walk once a week, I have a walk, and just walk around then towards the end of the week, just to make sure things aren't getting ahead. Okay. So, so Martin, you cut your first cut of silage two weeks ago. Yeah, um, yeah. I had a pit, we had a good bit of silage left over, and uh, just the way the spring went, some was grazed, some wasn't grazed. So to do the second, to make the second cut come in at all at one time, we just decided to take out all all grass. So like I said, okay. And what did you spread on that for second cut um, silage? So the rain was coming, so we were lucky enough that we got out all the slurry. That, so about 3,000 gallons per acre of slurry and had three bags of cuts for plus sulphur when that was out. Okay, and you've and you've also made 170 bales of quality bales yeah, yeah. that you put to one side. Yeah, there, there's 170 bales made to date, and then we have there's grass to be cut up there today. So we'll we'll make we'll probably have the goods of 200 bales made by the end of the week. Yeah, and you'd be targeting two and a half bales yeah, per cow. Two and a half bales per cow. Quality yeah, bales yeah, for yeah. the shoulders. Between spring and shoulders and everything. Started cows and heifers the 26th of April, so the heifers were watched for 10 days, and then that, that Boston um, the hat and comb was just injected and, and synchronized, and the cows. Um, were started the same day as the heifers, and uh, I think 90, about 90 percent were submitted in the first three weeks. And just 93 percent of the heifers submitted. Yeah, 93 percent of the heifers were submitted as well. Yeah.